Rise and ground, folks. Welcome to another Monday morning quarterback. Guys, it's time to set the tone. We got to rock out on this cold-ass Monday morning. Guys, I think that the high this week in Pennsylvania is going to be like right under 40. So, guys, now's the time where shit is going to start to break, and you got to love it, man. Now you just got to be ready, and you got to show what you know. Um, guys, I'm on the way to another no heat call. This call came in last night. This customer, this is a brand new customer. I don't know if she has a furnace or a boiler. Um, all I know is this is a gas unit. She said that it stopped working over the weekend. So guys, I'm almost there right now. Let's take a look and let's see what's up. I'll see y'all when I get inside, please. All right, guys, I'm downstairs. This looks like a heat only furnace. Looks like this is a Linux 5906. And I got my thermostat calling. Door switch in and lights are off. That is weird. I'm looking for fuses. Is there a little fuse on this thing? And no, uh, there isn't. Alright. And well. Holy shit. Oof. get my meter and I want to see if this furnace is getting power I'll be right back all right guys for some reason my door switch isn't staying on so I had to use my old zip tie trick but I want to show you and what I'm checking is power leaving my door switch show you what I got. See that? So this is telling me that my 120 volt side is good. Next. And guys, I think I already know exactly what the issue is. Holy shit. Damn, that's bad. <laughs> so look at this. Now I'm checking my 24 volt side. Leaving my transformer. This transformer is cooked. All right guys, let me go back to the truck. And this doesn't have a low volt fuse. I'm gonna put an inline fuse on my secondary side. Let me get what I need. I'll be back. Guys, I'm back at the truck. I got my transformer. And just to show you, we stock both transformers. I think this 40, 50, and it's like 75. VA, if I'm not mistaken. So you see here, so 40 and 50 VA is the two most common transformers we use. But guys, the 75 VA transformers are the bigger ones, and the 75 VA transformers, which is typically what you'll see on rooftop units, those transformers have built in fuses. So since we don't have that luxury of having a bigger transformer with the fuse, or two, we don't have a circuit board with a fuse, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put an inline fuse on our secondary side of our transformer so guys even if there's another issue that causes this transformer to open up and burn up this new one is not going to burn up instead guys we'll have an inline fuse to take that hit so fingers crossed we don't have to replace another transformer and guys another thing this is another weird habit of mine. I keep a spoof of wires on every single van. Guys, look, every single motor that we replace, whether it be blow motor, condenser fan motor, and sometimes inducer motors, I just keep a spoof of wires just for this scenario. Just in case I gotta add a wire on the inline fuse, or like I said, if I got some 
uh, maybe in heat pumps as well in the winter. Sometimes, like I said, your um, pressure switch wires could rub out. And if you got to run new wire, of course, thermostat wires, we, we keep a spoof of thermostat wire on the truck. But guys, we can't use thermostat wires for 115 volt applications. So we use, like I said, blow motor wires, things like that. And like I said, this spoof used to be bigger, but like I said, I'm like half down and I got another box of spare wires in the other van. So guys, yeah, for sure, this comes in handy. So, but all right, guys, that's enough yapping. Let me get back inside and let's get this squared away. I'll see y'all when I get back inside. Guys, I'm back downstairs. And the customer had a new filter, but we'll definitely discuss maintenance once we get this unit up and going. So moving forward, she won't run across this issue again. Let me get my brush. And where the fuck is it? Here we go. And let me get this clean up here. All right, guys, let me get the new one mounted. And I'll see y'all in a little bit. All right, guys, I got my new transformer mounted. But let me show you something here. Now, guys, this transformer can do 120, 208, and 240 volt primary voltages now one thing you gotta understand as you see this here it tells you on the primary side which is this side you see you got a black white red and orange it tells you exactly what voltages those wires stand for now guys especially if you have experience with doing these transformers this can still trip you up because like i said black and white sometimes aren't universal primary L1 and neutral wires. So, guys, for reference, always look at this and make sure you cap off what you don't use and you make sure you know which one is your high and which one is your neutral. As you see here, our white is our 115 volt neutral. Our black is our 120 volt hot. And this isn't an air handler or any type of commercial heater so you see here 208 it's the red wire and orange is a 240 those two are just getting wire nutted we don't need that but like i said guys these transformers come in handy but just make sure like i said it only takes two seconds for you to just verify the wires just make sure you, you don't just go off of colors like you would thermostat wires just make sure you read the label and it tells you exactly how to hook it up but guys, now I got my wires hooked up. And guys, I totally forgot when I came back in, I forgot that Linux and Duquesne units had these built-in 3 amp fuses. And guys, look at this. It wasn't tripped. So I was prepared for worst case scenario, but I actually didn't need that fuse. So that's good. All right, so now let me zip tie all these together to make this a little bit more flush. And... Yeah, I'm gonna turn this on and we'll see what happens. I'll see y'all in a little bit. All right, guys, lights are on. Burners are on. And my supply temperature is going up. So yeah, guys, that's all it was. It was just a bad transformer. Now the cause of failure on this transformer, 100% was dust and debris. Like I said, that filter was clogged up, solid. And the customer said that she couldn't see where to replace the filter. And unfortunately, well, she actually do have a filter right here. Hold on, guys. Yeah, there's a filter rack right here. So, yeah. What I'll do, guys, before I put this filter in, I want to show this customer how to replace this filter. And also, most importantly, we're going to recommend maintenance here. Because, like I said, these transformers, I always tell customers, when, whenever I do AC and heat maintenances, not every one of your parts are going to be as durable as, like I said, you know, for instance, a motor or a compressor for the AC. But, guys, I always tell customers, regardless of the durability of the part, you have to definitely keep everything as clean as possible in the furnace and in your AC unit, especially as the unit gets older. Because, guys, this is a 5906. 
Linux units. So guys, this is already a plus 10 furnace. And like I said, unless a customer plan on replacing his unit tomorrow, if she wants to get the most out of this unit, proper maintenance and annual cleaning is gonna be what, what I'm gonna recommend moving forward. So, guys, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put another zip tie, especially on the right side here. I don't want any of my wires to go near that blower motor. And this furnace can definitely use a good cleaning, guys. The only thing I did, like I said, I only diagnosed the immediate issue to make sure this unit runs, but without even looking at it, I can tell that flame sensor probably needs to get cleaned as well. And this customer said no one came out to service this unit. And guys, by the way, this is a heat only unit, so this isn't, no, I know no one comes out here or thinks about this unit in the summertime. This is like a heat only setup, so. It's definitely important. I'll, I'll bring that to the customer's attention for sure with the service to get that done. And they should be good to go here. I'm already at a 91 degree supply. All right, guys, I'm gonna turn this off. I gotta bring the customer down and show her how to install this filter. And I gotta write everything up. But yeah, guys, there you have it. No heat, bad transformer. I thought I needed to put an inline fuse, but guys, Linux and Duquesne units. They have built-in 3 amp fuses, which is great, so we don't have to worry about, or hopefully we don't have to worry about replacing this transformer again, as long as you keep the clean filter inside this unit, we should be good to go. But new transformer, brand new filter, and also maintenance moving forward, this customer should be good to go. All right, peace out. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.